this one is 2.27 in this there is a lightweight rope of cross section area A elastic modulus E which is hung over on a stationary shaft right here there is a weight W there is a weight W which is attached to the longer side of the rope here and at the same time this rope is forced with a force P right here where your force P is pushing this rope towards the shaft we need to figure out the value of this P which is just sufficient to prevent the weight from dropping the coefficient of friction is given there now this is a problem where we need to understand the difference between tensions on the both sides of this string right there so if you notice this side right here and if I draw the free body diagram here this tension T1 is going to be equals to W okay now this whole string is going over this shaft so if I take out this string from here and draw it separately on this side we have this T1 acting which is equals to W now the tendency of motion for this was going downwards so this friction force is going to oppose the motion so on this string you are going to have this friction force that is sitting there so let's call that force F friction now on the other side there will be a tension value let's say we do not know that right now which is T2 now from this diagram you can see that your T1 is going to be balancing your T2 plus force FR this is not the actual force balance if you think in terms of the actual shape of the string this equation is originating from your friction which is parallel here by doing the movement balance about the center point so you can see that the T1 value is taking care of both T2 as well as FR so from this you can figure out that your T1 is going to be higher than there is a relationship that relates these two tensions and that relationship is T on one side equals to T on the other side times e to the power f times theta where theta is the angle of engagement so in this case this angle is going to be pi because this is where your string is attached with the shaft now I have purposefully not written the value of t1 and t2 here now why I have done so that you know this e to the power f theta is going to be a number that is more than 1 from this relationship we are expecting your t1 to be more than t2 so from here we can write down this has to be t1 and this has to be t2 because many times you will see this relationship can also be written as t2 equals to t1 e to the power minus f theta so that's why it's always good to look at the free body diagram and see which tension is going to be higher which tension is going to be lower and you can use your relationship according to the values of tension so now we have this which is the relationship between t1 and t2 so i can replace the value of t1 which is w there so that your t2 is equals to w times e to the power minus f theta now on this right and here we have this force t2 and there is a force p applied which is perpendicular to the string so this p will take a role of a normal reaction and this t2 is the tangential force that is there on the string at that point okay so this p and t2 they need to follow the proportionality because of your friction coefficient so your t2 needs to be equals to f times the normal force which is p so from this your p value is going to be t2 divided by f so if i use the value of t2 that we have calculated your p value is 1 over f w e to the power minus f theta which is equals to pi in this case